Welcome to The Awakening, Black Women United. I am your host, Sherry Danny. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. Well, folks, it seems Kamala Harris's presidential campaign has hit a bit of a snag, a $20 million snag to be precise. That's right, after a whirlwind of rallies, speeches, and more fearless pronouncements than you can shake a stick at, the campaign is drowning in debt. Now, 20 million might seem like chump change in the grand scheme of Washington, but it's enough to make even the most seasoned political operative sweat. Word on the street is that the campaign's coffers ran dry faster than a bottle of hand sanitizer at a Trump rally. Rumors of unpaid staffers and disgruntled consultants are swirling around Washington like vultures over a discarded pork barrel project. The DNC, bless their souls, are about as happy as a vegan at a sausage fest. Some are blaming the campaign's financial woes on excessive spending. Private jets, luxury hotels, and enough avocado toast to feed a small nation. It all adds up, folks. Others whisper about poor strategic decisions and a failure to connect with voters. Whatever the reason, one thing's for sure. This financial fiasco is not a good look for Harris or the Democratic Party. The blame game is in full swing, folks, with everyone from campaign strategists to the ghost of James Carville pointing fingers. Some DNC members are fuming, claiming the Harris campaign was about as organized as a cat herding convention. They're demanding answers, accountability, and maybe even a few sacrificial lambs. Rumors are swirling that some DNC staffers are even considering jumping ship and joining the circus. At least the clowns get paid on time. Meanwhile, the Harris campaign is putting on a brave face, insisting they have a plan to tackle the debt. They're planning fundraising dinners, online donation drives, and maybe even a bake sale or two. But with the sting of defeat still fresh, it remains to be seen whether they can convince deep-pocketed donors to open their wallets once again. Welcome to The Awakening, Black Women United. I am your host, Sherry Danny. Watch this video, you know the end. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell so you know every time I go live or upload a new video. Now, in a plot twist that even the most seasoned screenwriter couldn't have dreamt up, Donald Trump has entered the fray. That's right, folks. The former president, never one to miss an opportunity for a little trolling, has offered to pay off Harris's campaign debt. Yes, you heard that right. The man who once suggested injecting bleach as a COVID cure is now offering financial advice to his political rivals. Irony, it seems, is alive and well in America. Now, whether Trump's offer is genuine or just another publicity stunt is anyone's guess. But one thing's for sure, it's got everyone talking. Some Democrats are urging Harris to accept the offer, arguing that beggars can't be choosers. Others are horrified at the thought of being indebted to Trump, comparing it to making a deal with the devil himself. Section four, public reactions and future implications. The internet, as you can imagine, is having a field day with this whole debacle. Twitter is ablaze with memes, jokes, and more than a few conspiracy theories. Some folks are praising Trump's business acumen, while others are questioning his motives. But beyond the jokes and the political posturing, this situation raises some serious questions about campaign finance, transparency, and the role of money in politics. How did the Harris campaign rack up so much debt in the first place? What safeguards are in place to prevent this from happening again? And what does this mean for the future of political campaigns? Section five. Lessons learned, transparency, and accountability. This whole saga, folks, is a stark reminder that even in the world of politics, money talks. It's also a cautionary tale about the importance of financial transparency and accountability. Campaigns need to be more upfront with donors about how their money is being spent, and they need to be held accountable for their financial decisions. Because when it comes to campaign finance, the American people deserve nothing less than openness, honesty, and maybe even a little bit of common sense. That's all the time we have for tonight, folks. Join us next week when we'll be discussing the latest conspiracy theories involving Bigfoot, the Illuminati, and the price of tea in China. Good night. This has been The Awakening, Black Women United. I am your host, Sherry Danny. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. This has been The Awakening, Black Women United.
I am your host, Sherry Danny. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video.